All right, welcome back to Cooking with Josh and Wendy. Today we're gonna make a frittata in a cast iron pan. Frittata is just a quiche with no crust. So we're gonna have some roasted tomato, some roasted mushroom, and uh, we're gonna put some feta in there. It's gonna be delicious. Let's get this pan heating up and then we'll get started. <laughs> the shallots in here. I just turned the heat down a little bit, a little high. Got to be careful with cast iron. I'm going to add my garlic. Again, you want to be careful. You don't want to burn garlic. Just want to get a little heat on it. We'll go ahead and add in our spinach here. Start to mix that around. Mmm, that was good. All right, and then I also have some, uh, in, on top of the shallots, I got some dried chopped onions, some oregano, and some garlic powder. And so we'll mix this in. The other thing that we've got going is, we chopped up some uh, cherry tomatoes and some mushrooms. And then we started roasting those before we started recording. So I'm gonna get the cherry tomatoes in here and then uh, we can start adding our egg mixture here and we'll talk about what's in that. All right, so I kind of got that stirred around. So we've got a dozen eggs in here, some feta and uh, three tablespoons. So we'll stir this around. Gotta make sure we don't get anything stuck too much on the bottom. We'll make sure those veggies are evenly distributed. Sprinkle these mushrooms. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. Not everybody wants mushrooms, so you can be sparing or as crazy with this as you want. And then we will sprinkle some fresh chopped basil on the top. I saved back a little bit of the feta, so we have about a cup of feta total in this thing. I mixed the feta in, but then we're just gonna sprinkle some on the top too. It'll look nicer after you bake it. And then I did go ahead and put the salt and pepper like directly in. We did, you know, probably about a tablespoon of each uh, into the egg mixture and kind of whisked it around. Yeah, so this is it. We're gonna let this cook for a little while. Uh, and let the eggs start to firm just a little bit and then we'll put it back in the oven. All right, so we let it cook on the stove top and kind of set here. Uh, the color, the edges kind of change a little bit of color here. We've got an oven at 425. We're gonna pop that in and let it bake the rest of the way. Look at that, doesn't that look good? All right, so put it in for about, I don't know, 12 minutes or so. And you really want to watch the center, make sure that it's done in the center. Stick a fork in here, and you want to make sure it comes out clean. Looks perfect. Time to eat. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Let's taste it and see how we did. Oh, that's good. 